Ah, so it's Saturday on Rust. It's been two days since the wipe and you decide that you want to play some Rust. So you jump on a server. By this point in the game, most people have a secure base down. They're probably just reaching tier two workbench and having a good old time. They might even be lucky enough to have a few early to mid game guns such as the Python. But overall, it's a peaceful time in Rust. Nobody's rolling around with AKs at this point in the game. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe that's not quite how Rust goes. It's Saturday, two days after the wipe. Clans have already finished building their gigantic fortresses. They already have boxes of guns and rockets, and they can pretty much destroy anything they see. And it's up to the solo players to try and survive in this very harsh world. And that is exactly what I'm going to do today. I'm joining Rustified two days late into the wipe, which puts me at a huge disadvantage, but we're going to see if we can make something happen. All I know is that I don't have any of the blueprints on this server anymore, and so I need to find a decent place to build a base in order to get all the scrap we're going to need to research everything. So I grabbed some wood, made a few spears, killed a few players, and headed to the bandit town. We made it. I'm not going to spend too long here. I might do a few bets and uh, recycle some of these extra components I've got. Oh, look, it's packed in here. This guy wants to play poker. I might have a quick game of poker with you. We've got a bunch of people out here chilling. Loser, man. Shut up, man. <laughs> let me get some, let me recycle some stuff and then I might play some poker with this guy. Хватит нам мешать тупой ты пиндос, чтоб ты, блин, в Африке оказался, ты порылой, ты чурка. Okay, I'm in. I'm on the table, guys. Yes. I'm gonna try and win some scrap. I don't even have a base. My whole life savings and everything is on the table. I've just gone all in with 9-6, which is such a terrible hand, man. Nine. Oh, why? He always wins. I lost all my scrap to this guy. Never playing poker on Rust again. After losing all my scrap at Bandit Town, it was time to go and find a place to build a base. So I headed along the road and searched for a good base location. Now, I found a nice rock cliff that looked like a pretty okay place to build a base. It was located very close to the sewer branch, but after building the base, I kept hearing minicopters. Turns out that I had built my little small wooden base right next to two pretty big bases. These guys were not fun to live next to. Oh, and that's when I decided to get the hell out of this area. My little small wooden base didn't stand the chance against these guys, and I needed to find somewhere else to live. It was at this point that I thought of a pretty cool idea. Something that I've never done in Rust before, not solo anyway. I decided that I was going to be a farmer. Now, in order to turn this dream into a reality, we're going to need a few things. We're going to need planters, sprinklers, water barrels, water pumps, and a lot of hoses. But before we get any of that stuff, we need access to fresh water. Lucky for us, there's about 12 rivers on the north side of the map. So we've got ourselves a goal. It was time to pack up everything and move out of this area. Now, right in front of where I'd built my little wooden shack was a decayed base. In fact, it was the exact place that the geared player killed me just a moment ago. He'd probably looted most of the stuff that was in here, but there was a few scraps left behind, including some diving tanks and some sprinklers and a few other electrical components as well, like splitters, batteries. All right, we're going to leave this area then. Uh, there's loads of rivers up here on this island, so I could build my farm base on any one of these rivers. Let's get the hell out of here, lads. Right, I'm swimming over now to the river island. I've never built a farm base in my life. I've got no idea what I'm doing. I'm just going to YOLO it. If I screw something up, then I do apologize. Now, we've got so many options. Look at this. Nine, ten rivers. Oh, there's a helicopter over there. Oh, somebody's getting shot at. AK shots. Oh, rifle as well. That guy with the rifle just got wrecked. I don't know why I decided in this moment to shoot a fully kitted out AK guy when all I have is a bow, but I did. 
we gave it a go. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and put a cross mark on this island. It's a bit hectic. There's probably a few groups here. Next up, I'm gonna check out these two rivers. Potentially, these could be a bit better for us. Let's go have a look. Okay, this actually looks like a pretty nice area. I'm not gonna lie. It's in the desert. We've got close access to the satellite dish over there. All we need to do is swim across to get to that. And I quite like that. That's very nice. Plus, we've got an outpost we could use. Abandoned supermarket. Oh, yeah, this could be a literally a good spot. There's a few bases around here, but nothing crazy. Let's farm loads of stuff, and let's get that base down. Okay, cool. As you can see, I've built on the river here. All right, it's about to get to nighttime, which is the perfect time to go and grab the rest of the loot that I've got stored in my other base. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. Deposit all this stuff here and kill ourselves. Sweet, we'll spawn in this bag. And make our way over to the base. Gotta be careful. I've spawned right next to a SMG guy. Don't kill me, please. Back at the base. Good stuff. Let's grab all this loot. All the rest of the stuff I have remaining in here. I don't want to die, ideally. So I have quite a decent chunk of loot in this base. The main stuff that I want is obviously the stuff I'm going to need to make my farm. Um, so things like the fluid pump and the water barrel. Things like that I'm going to need. Let's make a dash to my base. Get inside. Yes, we made it back. Nice. This is my base so far, everyone. Making a little bit of progress on it. As you can see right here, you enter through this door. And I'm actually going to have my farm through here. My farm is going to be right here. And uh, it's going to be quite big. I'm going to have quite a lot of stuff in there. I do have a lot of things to research, though, before we can build the farm. So I'm going to start today off by going to the satellite dish and grabbing a blue key card. Fuse is going in. Swipe inside there. I can't see anything. I got the blue key card. That's the main thing. Okay. Grab the fuse. We don't want to lose that. Okay, now it's time to go to the power plant. Let's go. Oh, yes. I got a solar panel from a box as well. Player over there with a hazzy. Not sure he had a gun or I couldn't really see. I don't know if he's just... Maybe this guy's just looted this place. I think there's a chance he's only got a bow, you know. Should I chase him down? Hit him once. Oh... You lucky bugger. Let's have a look and see if he's looted the power plant. He might have just been looting the outside, you know, like the boxes and stuff. Oh, the switch is activated. That means that it has been looted. I hear a player over here running away. Let's see if I can snatch a kill. He's running right in front of a massive clan base, though. Oh, mate. Does he live there? Maybe he's a farmer for these boys. Killed him. He had a little bit of loot on him. But he's just hes just led me to this massive clan base. I feel like I just killed his farmer, his little recruit. Oh, he's coming out. I'm probably going to die from the roof camper here, but screw it. I'm going to try and get to these rocks. I see the geared player behind me. These massive rock boulders saving my life. Let's get back home. I've got 70 scrap on me, and I've got a solar panel. It's not a lot of loot, but we'll take everything we can get at this moment in time. Okay, made it back. All right, so we're slowly making progress here. Just doing small trips and gradually picking up resources and scrap along the way. Just to get the ball rolling, I'll usually play Rust on more of the safe side when I start out, especially if I'm playing on a high pop server, just so that I can build up a couple of extra bows, a couple of extra primitive weapons. In case I die, I'm not jumping back to square one. And on that note, I decided to do a little bit of a diving session, get myself some extra resources and once again just help me get started a little bit here oh made it back from the first diving trip hmm 
Workbench tier two for 1,800 sulfur down there in that guy's shop. Whenever I join a server, I always look for shops that are selling workbenches. For instance, this shop here is selling a workbench level 2 for 1,800 sulfur. I'm living in an area of the map where sulfur is in abundance, so it's not hard for me to just grab a couple of nodes and buy that tier 2 workbench. It saves me farming a lot of scrap, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy this tier 2 workbench, and I'm not going to walk all the way down to his base to get it. I'm going to use the drone system at the outpost. The plan is quite simple. What we're going to do is we're we're gonna dive from here to here, this spot. Don't forget those guys with the massive base live right there. We're gonna pass those guys and we're gonna make our way here and then just run into the outpost as quick as we can and that's it. I'm going for it, I'm going for it. Player in the base to the left. Okay, he's coming out, he's gonna straight away attack me. Oh, he's got a paddle. He's a little paddle boy. Okay, well, let's buy the tier two workbench quickly so nobody takes it. It's right over there. There's only two left. Actually, there's two left. Oh, okay. Hello, mate. How you doing? Okay. Not reachable by drone. What? Um, so as you can see right here, I'm unable to buy the tier 2 workbench using the drone system. This shop is not reachable by drone. Now what that means is these guys have probably got the shop inside their base. In order for the drones to be able to get access to the shop, the shop has to be exposed at, to the outside world basically. It has to be placed on the edge of your base. If it's inside your base, if it's hidden away in the interior of the base, the drone will not be able to get to it and therefore you won't be able to use the drone system. And that is as exactly what's happened with these guys. So I guess we're going on a little bit of an adventure. We're going to have to walk all the way down to this shop if we want to get the workbench. And it's the only shop on the server selling workbenches. So I think I'm going to go for it. Amateur rookie shop owner mistake. Workbench tier three over there for that. Uh, that's not what I want. Oh, mate. Right, well, let's just recycle. Not bad, 180 scrap, made it back. Now in total, we have 538 scrap. That will be enough to research the garage door once we've got the tier two workbench. So as I've said, the next plan, we're gonna head over to this guy's shop. I'm really not sure if I'll even be able to buy the tier two from this guy. Like if it's not accessible with the drone, then what luck am I gonna have? I'm gonna go check anyway, let's go have a look. Now here's where things get a little bit interesting. I decided to dive to this shop because I didn't want to risk dying with the sulfur in my inventory. Whilst diving over to the shop, I noticed the oil rig was quite close to me. So I decided to do a quick little detour and check it out. I wonder if I can steal a boat from the oil rig. Okay, all the scientists are here and I don't think there's any boats. Oh, somebody's coming. Somebody's coming on a boat right now. Somebody's just arrived here. We've got AKs. <laughs> I want to steal their boat. I really do. I've got a double barrel, to be fair. But I don't know how many there is. There might be more than one, you know. Okay, it's definitely two. Of it. See you later, lads. Good luck getting home without a boat. Did they have any loot stored in this? Oh, <laughs> no way. No way. Okay, we're taking it home. Maybe I was a little bit overly excited here. It was half a box of stone and a boat for free. I think the main reason I was so happy at this point is because I'd been getting screwed by clans and groups all day. And so finally, right here, we got a little tiny bit of payback. Give me that stone. Nice one. All right, so my original plan was to obviously go to the shop and buy that tier two workbench. I'm gonna stick to the plan, but I'm just gonna deposit this stone at my base first. Made it back with 11,000 stone. Not too bad at all. That's going to be used to upgrade my base later. Now, after depositing the stone that we just managed to get, I headed straight back out on the boat towards the shop to buy the tier two workbench. But then I realized 
these guys at the oil rig don't have a boat now, maybe if I'm really lucky and a bit patient, I might be able to wait underneath the ocean for them because they might decide to try and swim home. And if they do that, I'll be able to sneak up on them with my sword and take them out. So I headed back to the oil rig. I'm going to go over there and have a look what they're doing. Yeah, let me remember where the boat is. Sorry, the boat is AE25 at the edge of it. Oh, they got an extra boat. There's a boat right there. Somebody brought them a boat. Fair, fair play, fair play. My plan, it was worth trying out my plan. They might have left some stuff here. I'm going to check. It's worth checking before the Satanists respawn and stuff. Dead player right there. Hello, mate. Not your lucky day, is it? Might not be my lucky day yet. There might still be somebody here. Although I highly doubt it. We're just looking for scraps. Is that a body bag over there? It's a body bag in the ocean over there. We'll check that out. In fact, let's check that out now. Just a rock and a torch. There's a player swimming over. He's a diver like me. Same idea as me. Fellow diver. Come over with the same idea as me. He had a nail gun and a compound bow. Well, that's all you need at the oil rig, isn't it? It's time to loot the scraps, lads. All the, all the barrels. All right, not bad. Let's get back to the boat. We're out of here. And we're off. There's the island over there with the shop on it. With our tier two workbench. Well, it's not exactly ours yet, but... All right, we're going to park the boat right here. Let's remember exactly where that is. It's right here. Let's park the boat up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to store away some stuff in here. Such as that, 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 that. We've just got to get over there, buy it, and get back here. I've stored away a lot of the loot in there. Let's go. Oh, wait a second. That must be where the shop is over there. I don't think we can get inside there. <laughs> I think that we've come all this way. And it seems to me like it's a bit of a scam, this shop. I'm going to go over anyway. Maybe I can talk to these guys. Are they going to want to talk to me? They have a massive base. They might be Russian. They might not even freaking speak English. Hey. Hello? Hey. Uh... Please don't kill me. Uh, do you speak English? Hey, can I buy a tier two workbench, please? I would like to buy. Oh, God. Hello. Hi. Hi, I can hear you. Yes, uh, can I buy a tier two workbench? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, please don't kill me, please. I, I have nothing except a bow. Okay. Okay, where are you from? I'm from Korea. Oh, nice. Where are you from? I'm from England. Oh. Okay, look, look. I dropped my weapons. Uh, 2,000 sulfur. Um, for, for tier 2 workbench. Please. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Okay. Hey. Hello. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Okay, Thank okay. Thank you. Have a nice day. Uh, See you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where oh, are you hey, hey. Where, where are you Oh, so thank you, guys. Uh, I, I dived here. I, I, used my, I used my diving tank. I've come from the other side of the map. <laughs> thank you, guys. All right, take care. See you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Watch them kill me as I walk away right now. Hey, I got my tier two workbench. See you later, guys. Oh, my God. I didn't know Koreans played on this server. The ping must be absolutely awful, man. And off I go. Back under the ocean. And we are back to the boat. All right, let's get out of here then. We made it. Tier two workbench. Let's get that garage door researched and let's whack them garage doors down.
just did loads of base upgrading and I have researched some of the electrical stuff we're going to need to build our farm. I'm going to do a quick little trip to the power plant. Last time we went there, it had been looted, but let's go and have a look uh, if it's been looted this time. Hopefully not. Player to the right. Give me that machete. Oh, he had literally nothing. <laughs> so do you remember that massive clan base from earlier? The one that I killed the farmer outside of? Well, it turns out that clan base has been raided by a massive group. I actually saw it happening while I was diving. Okay, massive raid going on. On that big clan over there. <laughs> oh my god. Wait. That's the... That's the base I was outside of yesterday with the naked. No way. Anyway, there was no loot left inside the base, but I did get really lucky here because although there was no loot inside the base that got raided, the raid base that the raiders built had just decayed and there was some guns in there. Oh. Three uh, MP5. I'm absolutely shocking with this weapon. Oh, three bolt as well. Explode ammo. Rifle. That's more my type of weapon. Grenade launcher. I quickly deposited all this loot back at my base. And then I went back to the power plant. This time holding a semi-rifle. Thank you raiders for leaving guns in that base. Turns out that the power plant had been looted. So I decided to make a trip down to the train yard instead. I see a player in the distance. Two of them. Pe one's peeking me. Totally spots me, there's no doubt about that. And now he's pushing me. Killed him. Killed his friend. Let's keep moving. He had a blue key card. Not bad, not bad. I just attracted a lot of attention to this area though. There's a rocket raid going on to the right as well. All the boxes are on the parkour bit. Okay, we're getting out of here. I looted the three boxes. Activate. Nice. First switch is active. Oh, come on. I feel like this is more of a survival game now they've released these animals. They are a pain in the... Second switch is activated. I got no more bandages to heal. I'm stuck on 70 health now. Let's go over to the blue key card room and loot it as quickly as we can. Fuse is going in. I'm, I'm ignoring the green key card room just so I can get the blue key card room loot as quickly as possible. Let's loot up. We've got all the loot. Okay, where are we going to go now? We can either go straight home. Do you want to recycle? So I was thinking about going to the outpost. We're going to get so much scrap once we recycle this stuff. We're here. Let's recycle all this stuff and see how much scrap we get. Four hundred and twenty scrap I just got. You can actually use the tier one workbench in the uh, outpost. There we go. Made it back. Right, that was a very good trip right there. Let me get the rest of my scrap and research the satchel. Bam, 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 and oh my god, always on the last one in it. Satchel is being researched. My favorite item in the game. I don't actually have my satchel skin on this Steam account. I've got a few Steam accounts, and yeah, I've got it on. I've got the skin on most of them, but it's not this one. Anyway, we're still gonna do a raid. I've actually been smelting sulfur for a little bit now, so we're probably gonna go and do a raid in a minute. There's a few bases in the area that I've noticed. Um, one of them's quite new, actually. I saw like a rock base pretty close by, so we'll go check that out in a minute. We're gonna do a quick raid, I think. Let's take a closer look at it. Here it is. <laughs> Oh, whoa, wait. It's actually not too bad. It's a solo player living on a rock. Yeah, let's do it. First raid of the day. Let's go. Let's do this. I'll go through this one. We're in. And we got a furnace. Player down there. Obviously, I knew this guy was not going to be loaded or anything. And then the rest of the base is wood there. He's got 200 metal on him. His name is Illy. More metal inside the furnace and some stuff in there. Is this a bunker base <laughs> or am I just a, a noob? Right, let's keep going then. Uh, there you go. It was not a bunker base, obviously. Let's get through TC. Oh, TC's got some decent loot in. 
Shotgun trap, nice. I placed the door and I locked down. Okay, so not bad. A thousand sulfur, some decent metal, 80 animal fat, a shotgun trap, which is pretty good. Clearing authorization on the TC. Doors down, locks on. I've still got more satchels, so I think I'm going to raid his boat base. Uh, I'm just going to go through here, I think. Let's go. Well, there's no boat in here. That's not a good sign. Oh, there's one more door, and it's a sheet metal door. I need two more satchels to get in there. Uh, in there. Quickly go back to base and craft those. A few moments later. Okay, I'm back with satchels. Let's go. Oh, shotgun trap in this one. How you doing, mate? I have to get through that. I'm not sure if it's got anything in it, actually. Oh, it's sulfur in this base. Not bad, not bad. Chainsaw, that's pretty good. Oh, it's not... It's better than I expected. Let's see what's in the TC. All right, what have you got in the TC? Oh, 400 scrap. I did not expect this base to do this well. Fair dues. And uh, maybe later we'll come back and, like, take it over and put our own boat in here and stuff like that. But... That's the raiding done. Now it's time to actually build my farm. I've been ranting on about it all day, but I haven't actually started it yet. So let's get this loop back to base and let's build that freaking farm. Let's go. This is where the magic's going to happen. We're going to have all of the planters in here. Massive farm. And yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty hyped to see how this is going to go. I've just got to craft loads of planters and we'll be good to go. Now, one of the items that you need to craft planters is tarp. And I didn't have a lot of tarp at this point. So I headed back under the ocean to do some diving. Actually, farming the boxes underneath the ocean is a good source of tarp. You actually tend to find quite a lot of it down here. So anyway, whilst I was underneath the ocean, I noticed there was a player on a boat that was farming a lot of the barrels on the ocean. It's a guy on a boat here. Should I try and kill him? I kept trying to get close to him. But every time I got close, he'd drive away on the boat. And I couldn't catch up to him because the boat's way quicker than Finn's. But anyway, I followed the guy a little bit. I kind of stalked him out. I really wanted to try and kill him because he might have had a lot of tarp and a lot of resources. He was farming the ocean on this boat for quite a while. Anyway, after he'd finished farming, I followed him to the coastline. And he was building his very first base. This guy didn't even have a base when I was uh, following him. So as you can see right here, this is his little base. Please leave me alone. I am thirsty, please. Now I get it. This guy's only got a wooden base. I'm thinking about the potential tarp he could have inside this base. He just spent God knows how long on his boat farming the ocean. He's definitely going to have some components in here. That was my thought process. So I made the decision. I'm going to raid this guy. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try and steal his boat and go back to base and craft satchels. Holy crap. That was something. Okay, let's go and raid him now. No hesitation. Nighttime raid. Let's go. Before he upgrades his base and stuff. I've got five satchels. I've got explosive ammo. I've got a door. I've got a lock. I've got everything I need. Let's go. Counter raiders will come over. Hopefully our satchels explode quickly. There's this little base over there. Just a little base made out of wood. Four satchels. And we're in. I think it's four or three. Three satchels. Let's go. About to get some more in as well. Come on, give me good explosions. One, two. Okay, we're in. Let's 
Just gotta blow through TC and then we're good. Boom. Gotta wait for the building block to go. Doors down. Locks on. I've never been so scared raiding a wooden base. Okay, and as I expected, this guy actually had uh, some, as you can see here, scrap. Basic bits and bobs that he'd got from farming the ocean. All right, well, I didn't say this while playing the game, but I'm going to say it right here. This was a terrible raid. Didn't have the loot that I was looking for. Tarp in particular. And where's the base owner, you might be asking? Well, you're about to find out. There's a player outside. Why, but... man? I'm freshy. What's your problem, dude? <laughs> oh, no. Sorry, oh, man. Come on, like, get a life. Sorry, man. Kill yourself. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. I spawned 10 minutes ago. Not nice. Even broke my freaking... Oh. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I'm sorry, man. <laughs> no, no, you know why? You know why I raided you? Because I saw you on a boat farming for ages, and I thought you would have a lot of scrap in here. Ages? Well, I mean, a decent amount. I was, I was, I was underneath you the whole time with a, my diving suit trying to catch up so I could kill you. And then I saw you build this base. <laughs> and then I saw you build this base. And I was like, you know what? You might have some good stuff. I mean, because I need tarp. Because I'm trying to build a farm. But hey, it's all good. I'm going to give you your stuff back, obviously. I'm oh, sorry, bro. I'm sorry. My friend. Thanks, man. No problem. I thought Thank you would have you. the tarp I needed. Accept my apology. All right, yeah, well... No, no tarp, no tarp. Here, take a salvaged ice pick. That'll help you farm. And a uh -oh, metal... Oh, nice. Thanks, man. No worries, man. All good in the hood. Sweet. Uh, I'm going to unlock Thank this you. door so you can, you know, do what you want. Hopefully, there's not a guy outside and don't die right now. But either way. <laughs> All right, mate. Good luck. Do you want to be Thanks, in a... Thanks, man. Do you want to be in a team? And if you need any help, you can write in the team chat because I'm solo like you. Are you yeah, not... sure. Sweet. Hell yeah. Uh... There you go, mate. Thanks. I've just allied with somebody I tried to raid. It's truly how we do it. There is a geared guy outside that base crouching. That guy needs to be careful living around there. So in true Jordan Rants fashion, I've allied with somebody that I tried to raid. <laughs> um, uh, this guy, honestly, is really nice. I genuinely thought he might have what we were looking for inside his base. It was a gamble, and in the end, I got something better than loot. I made an alliance which is always a freaking great thing for me on this game. I love making alliances. And uh, so, yeah, we have an alliance now. I've also just told my neighbor that I'm going to buy tarp from him if he has any. So, um, yeah. Oh, my God. Is he diving as well? <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> what are you doing down here? Hello. This is, this is my I, home. I can't see shit, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, thanks, tarp. dude. No way. Thanks, man. Where's it gone? I got it. Got it. Uh, thanks, dude. Hey, yeah, yeah. Come to my base. I'll give you some goggles. No problem. Follow me. I like this guy. Let's give this guy some goggles, a wetsuit, a furnace, a rug. All right, mate. I got some stuff for you, dude. Take this. <laughs> nice. Take a furnace. I've given you a flame turret to protect you from any potential door campers. And a rug to keep you comfort. There you go, mate. Ooh. Hell yeah, dude. Thanks. No worries. We'll ha Maybe later we'll do oil rig. Yeah, yeah. Do you have any flippers? Oh, I've only got one pair, I'm afraid, mate. And that's the one I'm using. Okay. Yeah, thank you, man. No worries. All right. Crafting some large planters now. As you guys can see right here, I've built this space. And this is where the farm's going to be. We've obviously got access to fresh water right here which is where our pumps are going to be and all that sort of stuff. I'll explain how it all works once I've got it all set up. First things first, though, is getting these planters down. So let's do that right now. Here we go, everybody. So if I've done this correctly, then these sprinklers, once I connect them to this hose right here, should start sprinkling water out. Let's place this water pump right here. All right, moment of truth. Have I done this correctly? Let's find out. Boom. Yes. There we go. That is pretty freaking cool. Having my own farm. Now, there's a lot to learn. This is only the beginning. I need to figure out genetics. 
tons of different types of things to like figure out. But the main thing is it's working and it's operational. Once I've got more planters, I will be able to place more planters down. I'm going to have loads of planters around here and um, all around this area. These pumps are connected via electricity. They require five electric each and they are pumping water from the river. Then I've got a hose that goes from the pump to this switch here, and then it goes into a combiner. So all three of these pumps here are combined into this combiner, and that goes directly into this water tank. I can see exactly how much water I've got in here. As you can see, it's already filled up with 20,000 milliliters, and then that water then goes through this hose and into the sprinklers. I went away for a little bit to eat some food and I've just come back. My freaking uh, pumpkins are ready. At this point, I was just testing it out. That's why I planted pumpkins. We will eventually, once we've got loads of hemp seeds, start planting hemp because that's where the profit is and that's where you're getting all your scrap from if you're uh, a farmer on rust. Let's have a look at our mate's base. He's upgraded a little bit of it and... Oh, he's got a painting on the side of the base. Look at that. Hello, my friend. How's, you, how's it going, mate? I think he's away from his computer at the moment. <laughs> but he's actually took a photo of his base and then put it on his base. It's just to remind him of humble beginnings when this base eventually becomes a beast. There's a geared player over there. Ah! Uh, now, after dying here, I decided that I wanted to do oil rig. But not on my own. I want to bring this neighbor with me. Teamwork makes the dream work, especially an oil rig. Oh, it's here. Sweet. Hello, mate. All right. So, um, do you have a gun or do you need, do you need me to give you a gun? Oh, whoa. You're balling. <laughs> Holy crap. You got it. Yeah. Where'd you get that from? Nah, man. I played there earlier this wipe with my, with my Zerg, you know, because I had some beads. Ah, oh, you're in a Zerg. Okay. <laughs> I, I, we got raided. I'm basically here just to get some other blueprints right now, so. Ah, okay, cool, cool. Like some electrical stuff and shit. Oh, yeah, nice. Check this out. It's a, it's a work in progress. Yeah. Uh, that's meant to be hemp, but I don't have any hemp seeds. But yeah, this is my farm. All right, let me grab the green key. Shit, Wait a, there. That's a lot of pumps. Yeah, mate. First time I've built a farm, so I don't know what I'm doing, but there you go. All right. Do you want to drive? I'll, or I'll drive. I'll drive. Sweet. You're probably better than me when it comes to aiming. There's a boat here. I don't see. So uh, I think there's people yeah, here. I don't see. Yeah, I don't see the scientists down there. I mean, they're not shooting. I don't know. There's scientists on top. Yeah, I think there's somebody. There's there's, there's scientists up top. Uh huh. I think somebody's just arrived here. They're probably on the first floor. They probably died. Maybe. Yeah. Let's check it out then. Salute the scientist. That's super weird. Oh, there's a scientist here as well. Whoa, that's so weird. Yeah, he's here dead. Oh, he died! Oh, no way. <laughs> he had Unlucky. no meds. Like, no meds. Not even a bandage. Yeah. I'm gonna need that rifle off you, bro. You okay? Do this, mate. We're going down the stairs. Oh, where is he? There's no one in there. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm going down the stairs, yeah. I'm not sure if they fixed it now, but when I was recording this series, which was about two weeks ago, um, these scientists were bugged and they weren't moving. So you could just kill them easily. I've been like this for a while. Except for that guy. 
Yeah, except for that, dude. <laughs> There might be one more, maybe, or maybe not. Oh my, all right, that was easy. You want any of this stuff, or? Any tarp would be nice. Yeah, I don't have any tarp. I have in my base, though, I think. Oh, nice. I'll keep watch if you want to loot. All right, I'll go check out the, uh, oh, voice crack. I'll go check out the uh, green key card room. Oh, it's the rib, rib coming. Remember, you've got your diving tank. If things get bad, we'll just, we'll use the word bail, okay? Use the word yeah. bail if we're going to leave. Yeah, yeah. Crap, there's a freaking rib yeah, coming over yeah. here. Oh, yeah, I see it. All right. Yeah, it's coming close. They're leaving. Yeah, yeah. We should have let <laughs> we should have let him come on. So we almost had some trouble then. A rib was arriving, but then decided last minute to turn away when he saw that we both had bolts. It's not over yet, though. Where are you from? You're from uh, Scandinavia, right? Oh, I'm from Norway. Norway. Norway, sick. Hi, uh, are you a you're football fan? You're from UK? You're you a football fan? Nah, not really, man. Oh, mate, one of the best football players in the world at the moment is from Norway. Haaland, his name is. Who? Haaland. Haaland? Yeah. Uh, H-A-A-L-A-N-D. He's like an absolute beast. That is pronounced Holland. 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 So after talking random crap to my uh, teammate here, we noticed the rib was making a return. But this time, we have a few more players on board. Rib is coming back, I think. Really? We want some more. I think maybe it's waiting for us to leave. I think so. They're getting closer. Hit one once. Headshot, headshot. Headshot again. Tight team once. Headshot. I don't know how many's left. He's backing up. Yeah, I killed one of them. Yes, you got him! Again. <laughs> I think you can- I don't know. Unless there was three. Oh no, there's still one more. There's still one more then. You killed one for sure. I see his body. Okay, okay. Focus on him. I'm, I'm, I've only got a few bullets left. He's in the water. One of them. Looting his friend, I think. Yeah, I'm out of ammo now. Alright, well at least we managed to fend them off, mate. I got more. Yeah, I'll grab some. The crate's unlocked, by the way. Um... And yeah, it was not bad. It was not bad. There's an MP5 in here if you want it. Yeah, I don't see them anymore. Yeah, nah, they, they've gone. They have literally gone. <laughs> nice. I, I, I didn't realize there was three of them. I thought it was just one at first. No, I thought there was two. Yeah, let's just get in the same boat. Let me just grab this loot. Sweet. Right, let's go. Check his body to the left. Check his body quickly like, to the left uh, 250. I don't see his bag. Right here, right here. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, the rib is coming. Two ribs, two ribs. Dive. Let's dive, mate. Oh, oh, we'll, we'll try and fight them, but if we get... We'll try and... Oh, two ribs. Nah, dive, dive, dive. Dive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ain't no chance of that, fellas. Hey, you guys suck. Better luck next time. Oh, you got a boat again. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Oh, my hazmat fell in the depths of the ocean, so I'm naked. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a hazmat in the front. Oh, thank you. That was some clutch place, huh? <laughs> that was a grand escape, mate. I can't wait for the underwater monument, man. That's going to be so, like, so sick. All right, mate. That was a really good run. Good luck with your scrap grind. Yeah. I'll catch you uh, later. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hello, my friend. Aha. Uh -huh. I, I had four. Oh, that's all good, mate. All right, success. We did the oil rig, and he's just giving me some tarp so I can craft a few more uh, planters, which I will do right now. A couple of extra planters are down. So after upgrading the farm a little bit and adding some extra planters, it was time for me to find hemp seeds. I need to go around the map and pick up loads of hemp so that we can get enough seeds to start growing hemp, and then we can clone that hemp to make more hemp, and then we can get loads of hemp 
trade it in for scrap at the bandit town and get loads of scrap. That's the plan. So I headed to the north of the map to a very north island. It's quite a quiet part of the map to be fair. There's not many players roaming around there and it's green. So there's going to be lots of hemp in this area. And I just went out there to look for hemp. But whilst I was out there, I got really lucky and found this. Oh, it's an airdrop that nobody's got here. Oh, <laughs> I'll take it. Nobody grabbed it. Hell yeah. Just in the middle of nowhere up here. I wonder if there's any loot in this decayed base. However, it's been looted. Let's find out. Oh, some lucky bugger got it all. Oh, blame for us. There's loot up here. But yeah, somebody looted all the rest of it, clearly. There must have been loads of loot in this base when it decayed. I'll take the flamethrowers though. Oh, loads of uh, pistols and stuff in here. LR300. Let's see what else there is. Loads of charcoal in that box. And oh, okay, at the top of the base here. Another another MP5, another LR300 as well. Yeah, not bad. Came out to get cloth. Ended up finding this loot. To Rashford. Tries to take off Borgil. Gets into the penalty area. Pokes it back towards Henderson. Didn't quite reach him. Seb check away. What? Comes back to Henderson yes. again. Made it back. Let's deposit all of this and go and get the rest of the loot in that base. After I grabbed the rest of the loot from that decayed base, I headed back to my farm. But on the way home, I noticed a base that looked pretty interesting. It sparked my interest as the potential next raid target for us. <laughs> this guy's got CCTV camera outside his base. Look at that. It's a little small base uh, out up in the north. That might be his boat base as well. One solar panel on top. Probably might raid this actually. Look how much sulfur's in this area. This guy could have a lot. All right, this is my next raid target. Hello, my friend. Hello, hello. How are you doing? Holy crap. Bye. Good. Thank you, man. Do you mind if I come in and check your genetics? Uh, sure thing. Oh, oh, look at you. It's a work in progress, mate. I'll Eventually, I'll add planter boxes up here and down here. It's going to look sick. I don't know what the genetics. Which one is like the best out of these here? Yeah, 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 you mix them together to make new genetics. And when you got a good one, you plant those alone in one box. I see, I see, I see, right. Ah, in one box. Ah, okay. All my furnaces are on and um, all loaded with sulfur. I've got 14 satchels already crafted. Ideally, I want to go to this raid with at least maybe 30 satchels. Okay, let's see how my hemp's doing anyway. Should be almost ready. Oh, looking good. These need to be harvested now. I'm going to harvest them all except for the ones in here. Because these have got good genetics, I think. 35 cloth, 35. Let's go ahead and harvest all of these and see how much cloth we get. All right, I got 2,000 cloth from that. Now I'm going to plant them all again, let them grow, and get another 2,000 cloth. After restocking my planters with more hemp, it was time to go and do the raid on the base that we scouted out earlier. Now, it had actually been a couple of hours since I scouted out that base, and I went back and checked on it, and I noticed that they'd actually upgraded the base a little bit since I last saw it. The base was fully made out of metal now, whereas before, there was a little bit of stone and stuff. So with that being said, I knew that I was going to need a decent amount of satchels to raid this guy. Not just 10 satchels, probably more than 20. So I decided to build a raid base just to be on the safe side. I took a bunch of resources over to the base that we're raiding and I'm going to build a base right next to the base we're raiding. I'm going to store away my satchels in that base and just take out a couple of satchels at a time so that we don't risk losing everything. <laughs> Okay, the raid base has been made right here. This is where I'm going to store the satchels. And I'm going to take a few satchels out at a time and raid this guy. Honestly, it kind of looks like he's been upgrading his base. I don't remember it all being metal like that. I don't know if he's online, but either way, he's a definitely a raid target that. Full metal base, 
maybe only has sheet metal doors. Like, if he's got garage doors, that might be an issue. But then again, it's only a 2x2. Two two. So, what the most it's going to have is not that many. And if I need to, I can uh, I can eco raid up. I can soft side up, you know, with the jackhammer if it's metal. So, ah, I'm optimistic about this base and what it could have inside. Back at base, I'm full metal gear now. I've got my LR300 and I have 10, 20, 30, 31, 31 satchels. And with that being said, let's freaking go and do this. Hopefully, this guy does not have garage doors. Yes, we made it to the raid base. Let's store away these satchels. We're going to start the raid with eight satchels. They're, they're probably going to be two doors, I reckon. Woo! There's a shotgun trap in there. Is this a bunker base or what? what's the deal here? Oh, no, no, no. I see what's going on in there. I, I might be able to bait it. See that? Oh my god, there's loads of traps in here. This is pretty mental. There's traps above. Alright, I got rid of the shotgun trap. And now I've just ran in here. Oh, I didn't bring ladders with me to this raid. I didn't think I'd need them. Whew. I'm making quite a bit of noise out here. Okay, a box up there. Any loot? A little bit of stone. I'm low health right now. I'm going to go back. Oh, there's a boat to the right. Large. Oh, boy, boy, boy. What are they doing over here? Are they coming to the raid or are they not? Are they chilling? I don't know. Oh my, that rib, mate. Is there cargo out or anything? Or are they just chilling on the rib around here? Anyway, all right. I need to go back to base to grab ladders and then come back. So I'm going to kill myself, spawn back in base and come back. I don't think this guy's online, so it's chilling at the moment. I've got a grenade launcher with shotgun rounds. I could use that to blow up any foot more traps that we might find. I'll take that with me. Okay, three ladders there. That's all good. Uh, put on a hazmat suit um, just for safety on the way there so we don't get insta-killed. Okay, let's head back. Okay, I'm back at the base. Put on our metal gear. Let's grab four more satchels and let's continue this. Okay, let's go. Oh, there's another shotgun trap there, as you can see. It looks all open from that point of view. See that? Player there. Let's get our grenade launcher then. Okay, that's not quite as cool as I thought it was going to be. That's not quite what I thought it was. Oh, there's loot in here. I'm going to take this home. Well, I, I'm not home, but to my raid base. A thousand sulfur and like 600 gunpowder. I'm going to make sure nobody sees me go in this base because that's going to be not good. The grenade launch is crap. I, 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 I thought it was going to shoot out those like, like rounds that it does. You know, it's like boop, boop, boop. You know what I'm talking about? Like, not what it just did there. That was rubbish. Okay, I'll just shoot through it with my MP5. Good. I'm in. Two, right, tier two workbench. Computer station. It's all kicking off in here. There's the bunker. It almost looks open to me. But there's going to be traps down there. Right? Shotgun traps and stuff. Or not. It's all open in here. Supply signal. Computer station. Yes, yeah, C4. Nice. Okay, um, let me get through the uh, the TC. These furnaces are loaded. Crap's on a metal. Crafting a door. Doors down. Locks on. Okay, we gotta kill these guys. They're both naked. They've got a, they've got a computer station. If you click on the computer station, right, you can see outside their base. They have their oil rig on here. They, these guys must do oil rig a lot. There's dome. <laughs> There's the top of dome. You can see all the loots there. I absolutely love computer stations. There's nobody at the bandit town right now. All right, we're gonna kill both of these guys, and um, we're gonna start transporting loot soon. Adios, amigos. 
So all the bases open, or they left all like or they left all the doors open, which just made this raid a whole lot easier. Let's have a look at the loot then. We've got some components in there, not a whole lot, but a decent amount. Uh, an extra computer station. Um, then they have a supply signal in here, which will drop um, later on. Free airdrop. Uh, they've also got some more electricity stuff. There is a note in here. Let's have a look what the note says. The note says, oh, it's Russian. Oh, mate, let me translate. Looks like these guys were Russian. Don't touch. I'm effing sleeping. Okay. Somebody left a note for his teammate. And it basically says, don't touch because I'm sleeping or, or something like that. <laughs> well, there's those two loots. Now we look at the TC loot. There's a lot of metal in here. There was 92 high qual. Very decent indeed. I destroyed their sleeping bags and I killed them both. There's no chance of them getting in the base. We're good. After a successful raid, I did several trips back to base and transported all the loot back to our farm base. The whole point of this video has been to get scrap from our farm. So we will go and trade in all the cloth that I've made from my farm in just a moment. But I wanted to do a little bit of base upgrading first, and I had a really cool idea for something I could add to my base. It's something I've been doing a lot lately in my videos. I can't help myself. I just think they're really cool. Okay, I've just installed an elevator. <laughs> this is going to take us up to a tower that I'm going to have at the top of the base. Now, hopefully, if I've hooked this up right, if I press this, it should bring the elevator down. Boom. There you go. It's becoming a bit of a trend, this. Is Check this out, everyone. This, in my opinion, this is freaking sick. Okay, so I've built this. Um, it's like a sky tower. At the top, we've got these doors that open up. Um, you can see all around. You know, it literally takes two seconds to get to the top. Like, I'll show you how fast it is to get down. Literally, close these doors. Bam. Take the elevator to the bottom floor, and there you go. Before I head to bed, I might actually quickly go to the bandit town and trade in all of my cloth. Okay, then. This is the base from the outside. There's the sky tower in all its glory. So we've got a sky tower now. I harvested the rest of the hemp in my base. All right, I've got 3,500 cloth in my inventory. Then I grabbed the hot air balloon and made my way over to bandit town. Perfect landing. This dude right here will buy 80 cloth for 10 scrap. So he'll give me 10 scrap for 80 cloth. Now there is a slight catch with buying uh, from this guy. He does go out of stock. So if you look here, he's out of stock now. Farming used to be very overpowered on Rust, like extremely overpowered. People could make so much scrap. So Rust had to find a way to nerf this. So what they did is they put a cooldown on how much cloth you can sell to this vendor. So what I did is I just chilled around the bandit town for an hour, watched some Netflix shows and just kept repeatedly and repeatedly going back to the vendor. As soon as he went back in stock, I bought more scrap. I was getting harassed by these metal geared players for quite a while. I think they were waiting for me to leave because they could see how much scrap I probably was getting here. Trave, trave. Yes, no. LF for HQ más casi MP5 y semi. But uh, in the end, it was all good. Managed to sell all the scrap. A few moments later. Okay, guys, we're good to go. In total, we have over a thousand scrap. And that's just from one trip here. I jumped on the hot air balloon and I made my way back to base. Actually, on the way home, I found a decayed base that had a tier three workbench in. So that was pretty lucky. Anyway, I made it back and I decided to do some researching as soon as I got back to base with the scrap that I just got. And then I refilled the planters with hemp seeds uh, before logging out for the night. The following morning, I had agreed to play some Rust with my friends Ramsey and Blizzard. Both Ramsey and Blizzard do stream on Twitch, so check them out. I'll put the links down below. But I wanted to show them both my base and get their first impressions. So here we go. Here's your tour. Welcome. Come through. Right, so firstly, this is obviously the main part of the base. You've got my loot room there. All right, don't look around too much, please. Hands off. Looking, not touching, okay? All right. Sorry. 
And then in here we have... Hey, Ram... Right, well, that's fine. You can have a gun. Just don't... This is my farm. Hey, look at oh, these. Sure. Some of these are, are empty oh. at the moment. But yes, I have my own farm, Wait. boys. What? What's what's going down here? Uh, yeah. that, 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 that's just, you just put more hemp down there, mate. You, you, you know? You sure? You sure it doesn't yeah. need some, like, fertilizer? I mean, I don't know how to run this, mate. I, I just whack come, it all together. Come, come, come. <gasps> Elevator. No way! I forgot about these things. Wait, let me. Can, let I, me... Press, can I press the button? You have to. All, oh, all the way to the no, top. We have to have TC. And then up here, we have. This could be a helicopter landing pad, but it's not. But we have the view, mate. A helicopter. 360. <laughs> Sky Tower. Three... <laughs> the other one sounded like a, a shooting floor. It's just a bunch of open doors. <laughs> Wait, oh, ah! my God. You both fell down? After joking around with my friends and showing them around my base, I wanted to show Blizzard the base that I raided before because I was interested in how the bunker worked in that base because it was a little bit weird. I've never personally seen a bunker like this before using stairs, but Blizzard shows me how it works, and it's really cool, actually. I, I want to show you this base design really quick bliss um and maybe ramsey might know as well maybe not i really like it have a look so from the outside this? This is, yeah this is like a little small base but then you come inside that's no way that's wait what and then come up here right now you see down here it's mm -hmm. like it's bunkered right how does the bunker work that's what i want to know have you tried to seal it yet no you have access to this right uh, there's no tc Oh. What? How do you have this base? Do you have some building mats? I raided it. Ooh. Yeah, quickly bring some building mats and I can figure out how it works. I would assume that these uh, thingies act as like a foundation, Whoa. but I don't know why there's a... Why there's a did you place the ladder hatch frame? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Are you guys oh, it's one no of those way. bunkers. Whoa. What, no way. Uh, what, what happened? I should have thought of that. How does uh, that work? Why do the stairs connect? Jordan, you need Interesting. To let me see this. I mean, it's, I might be in the way. Oh, that's cool. That bunker is so cool. Okay, so if I break this, it seals. Oh, yeah. Because it's it... trying to connect the two stairs together. Oh, yeah. Wait, there's a gap From there. above, it looks, it looks mm. so much weirder. Yeah. Yeah. So this type of bunker base is really cool because you don't have to upgrade the bunker every time you seal it. It doesn't cost you any high qual. All that you need to do is destroy the twig and that connects the two stairs together, hence that blocks off the entrance and creates the bunker. Really cool design. I've never seen this. That's how you do it anyway, guys. Pretty awesome. I'm sure there's loads of base designs on YouTube about how to do this, but it's pretty cool in my opinion. If you come back in here... You place this. Yeah. And this. And now it's open again. Mm. Oh, yeah. So Blizzard and Ramsey and I went and did some raiding together. I took them around the map a little bit. We roamed around. The raids weren't that great, though. So I'll spare you the details. It was just like low-level loot, basically. But that's going to conclude today's video, everybody. I'm sorry it's took me so long to get this out. Um, I'm becoming a little bit of a perfectionist with this sort of stuff. I, I want to do my best to just release good videos for you guys. I'm really enjoying making these longer videos, putting more effort and time into the editing, and spending more time playing Rust as well. The next video will be out in the next two weeks, and I'll try my best to make it an absolute banger for you guys. So without further ado, have an amazing weekend rest of your week it's coming home by the way for all of you watching football england's gonna win the euros all right guys thank you so much for all the support lately last month was my best month ever on youtube can't believe that uh, you know so many new people have come to the channel so welcome and uh i'll see you all very soon have a good one everybody peace out